Hi, I'm Jonathan Holmes and thanks for watching Film News. Jonathan Holmes, it's great to see you. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Good stuff. Here in, uh, we're here in Leicester Square, where the BFG premiere will take place on Sunday. Are you looking forward to it? I am, hugely, and my daughter gets to do it with me as well, so that's ah. very exciting. Excellent. Is yeah. that one of the best roles that she's seen you in? Uh, hopefully. I mean, she's fairly ambivalent about me being an actor, so <laughs> but hopefully she'll like this one. Excellent. I'm sure she will. When I mean, you play Child Chur in Steven Spielberg's The BFG, it's a huge role. To land in more ways than one. How, why were you cast? Uh, well, I don't know. You'll have to ask him that, I suppose. But really, it was uh, we were asked to kind of create these giant characters in the audition. So we just kind of improvised a whole bunch of stuff, and we were given a, a bunch of different lines from various giants and from the BFG. And we just those of us who got the parts realised that it was the ones who kind of went big or go home who actually ended up being cast. So we just kind of put it all out there, really. Excellent. Where was it shot? Then? Vancouver. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Entertaining time? Sorry? An entertaining time? A brilliant time. Yeah, it really was fun. I had about three months on it, so we had a month of rehearsal and then a couple of months shooting, so it was a, yeah, it was a great time. Oh, word. But Steven Spielberg, obviously a legendary director, what was, uh, what was he like to work with? He was really, really lovely. He was uh, very collaborative, uh, couldn't have been sweeter, uh, put us all at ease. Uh, I think he's conscious of the fact that, you know, who he is. And so he goes out of his way to make you feel comfortable. And uh, he was like the, the keenest guy on set. He was great. Really? Super. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want in a director, I guess. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's a great cast. Who did you get on with Best Off Screen? Uh, you know what, we became this really tight group because there are nine giants, ten including the, the BFG. And, you know, we ended up as this kind of, you know, when you spend a few months together, almost literally as a, as a pack, we all got on famously. So it's hard to say that there was uh, one guy I got on better than, than anybody else. But we all, yeah, we all really got on well. But any arguments at all? No, 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 none whatsoever, actually. Maybe, you know, the occasional uh, creative difference, but, but really, no, I mean, it really was a very lovely set. Excellent. Um, did you re read the Roald Dahl classic as, as a child yourself? I didn't. I'm a bit old for it. It came out, I think, in 1982, and I was well in my teens by then. But I have a 10-year-old daughter, so Roald Dahl is sort of in regular rotation in our house. So I'd read it with her. What are, the, uh, what are the biggest difficulties on sets that you, uh, you encountered? Well, the, this was all shot, all the giant stuff was shot in, in what they call performance capture. So we were in those, people might be familiar with those suits with dots oh, all yeah. over them and dots on your face and your head cam. Um, so the challenge was to disregard that kind of environment uh, and just get on with your work. So it took a while to get used to the fact that you have this camera staring back at you and you have this bizarre uh, environment which is sort of a skeleton of the actual environment that they, the animators create. So getting over that was, was probably the toughest thing. Have you seen the film in its complete... I have, ah, yes. What did you think? It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a really, really lovely, uh, gentle, lyrical story. And the great thing is that, that he allows uh, the relationship between Sophie and the BFG to, to, to space to develop. So it's, it's, it's a lovely film in that respect. Excellent, we're all looking forward to it. I mean, your films include uh, Night Watching and The Descendants, but you're also well known for your TV work. How does film compare to TV and, and what do you prefer? Oh gosh, uh, obviously film, you're shooting a much, much less per day than TV. You know, if you're doing uh, episodic American television, you, you're sometimes doing four, five, six, seven pages a day. Uh, film, you can you can spend two days on one small little action sequence. So, so it's just a different mindset to really uh, film. You kind of got to set yourself up for the long haul. Whereas TV, you've got to make sure you're absolutely prepared and on the ball and ready to go because it's boom, 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 and and you know they need you to move quickly. A lot of gaps in in filming then. Yeah, always, you know, and, and I always say that I get paid to hang around, I'll do the work for free, but it's the bits in between that you get paid for. What do you do in, in, the, in the times in between? Oh, you know, read a book, read a magazine, you know, the internet's a great thing, you can, you know, surf around on that, or just sleep, just try and get a little bit of shut-eye, because there are very long days on. Yeah, yeah. What other projects have you got in the pipeline then? Uh, I've got a couple which I can't tell you about because of the nature of this business, yeah. but a, a big animation series and a, a video game series that I'm doing, so yeah. 
Excellent. And um, I mean, what would be your dream role if somebody was come to you tomorrow? Dream role. You know, I. It's so hard to say, and you know, you kind of tempt fate by putting dream roles out there. I just want to keep working. You know, I just. You know, I love what I do. And to get the opportunity to earn a living while I do, I think it's a huge privilege. So my only dream is that the roles keep coming. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Enjoy the premiere here. And um, anything else to say to film news watchers? Uh, I hope you see the movie. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was really enjoyable doing it. And uh, see you next time. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Lovely.